Hi, this is Marty Lecklatter, Product Manager for Forums Experience Builder. I want to show you a really cool app that was built to address the data collection challenges associated with onboarding new employees. I'll start by playing the role of the HR manager. Greenwell made a number of new hires. So far we have an email address for these new hires, but we don't have much of the information we need for the HR system. So here I am in my HR manager portal. It's based in Webster Portal, of course, and you can see that I not only have this Forms Experience Builder application here to start the process, but I also have some web content and some SAP integration. Well, the first hire I want to work with, his name is Marty, and he's got a long email address. I'll just paste that in from the uh, clipboard and then go ahead and start with the process. So this is the form we just took a look at in Portal. And you can see that it, it's just nothing more than a couple of fields and some text. But what's really cool is I've got workflow. And what I can do is specify that when I click the submit button, an email gets fired off. In this case, I'm sending it to the email address that was entered. And then in the body of the email itself, I've got a link to the new onboarding checklist application, which we'll take a look at in just a bit. So I'll switch roles and I'll play the new hire. I'm going to check my email on my iPhone and I see that I've got a note from the system. It says, Welcome to Greenwell. I peruse through this email and I see that there's a link to the new hire checklist. I open up this application and I can see the checklist. It's telling me to start with basic information, fill that out first, but I can see that I've got safety, business conduct, direct deposit, and benefits enrollment. So I can start with any of these and um, go in and fill out the form. So I've gone ahead and entered quite a bit of information into the form. It's complete now. Uh, you can see these nice expand and collapse sections that I have here. And what I can do is either save this as draft if I wasn't finished or I can just go ahead and submit it. So I'll just click submit. And it's sending this off. And then when I come back to the checklist, you can see that uh, the link is no longer active and it's checked off with a green check mark. Back in the office, I can use my laptop to continue on with the process. You can see here that basic employee information has been complete. That's the piece I did on my iPhone. Let's move on with safety policy. I can review the course, the policy, and then agree to the terms here. You'll notice that many of the fields have been pre-populated. That's based on information from the basic employee information form I filled out. Uh, this also happens with all the subsequent forms. So let's move on to the business conduct guidelines. Here I need to agree to some terms and then begin the, uh, the poll. And these are a little bit tricky, but I can figure them out. And based on the fact that I got all the answers correct, I now can submit my certification. So I'm done with that. Let's sign up for direct deposit. I'm going to sign up and uh, again pre-population. Let's put all my, my my let's put all my money into the big bank. Uh, and I've got a transit number with that bank. It's going to all go into checking and a certain account number. I'm going to do a percentage of pay. Let's say it's 70 percent. And then I'm going to put uh, some more money in the little bank. And uh, we'll put that in savings. And that's got a different account number and different transit number. And we'll just say the remainder of pay. And we'll go ahead and submit that. So I'm getting close to completion here. Let's go on to benefits enrollment. And here the form is a little bit more involved. Uh, there's some thought that wants to go into it. So let me just fill some things out here. And uh, you know, perhaps what I want to do at this point is um, think on this a bit. So I'm going to save this as draft. And of course, it's not complete. But if I want to come back into it, it's going to ask me, do I want to continue with the saved data, which is quite nice. So I've got this ability to kind of save and come back very easily. The final piece of the demo brings me back to Portal. Here in the HR Manager site, I'm able to see that Marty has done everything except benefits enrollment. If I want to check on Brian, I can see that he's done everything except business conduct guideline. 
you know, with Mary, I can see she's missing a couple of things. And if I want more detail, what I can do is just link to the view results part of Forms Experience Builder for this application, and I can see each individual form as it was filled out. So that concludes the demo. Thank you.